Some people have accused this channel, have accused me of being a Tory enabler or even a Tory myself because I dare criticize the Labour Party. But one, I'm not a Tory, never voted Tory and never will. But two, there have been a lot of stories I've genuinely wanted to cover about the government, but then Labour keeps dropping absolute whoppers. I mean, they keep taking losses almost constantly. And given this channel doesn't really make any money, and I can't go full time with this or hire other people yet, then some videos go by the wayside. But it's not my fault that Labour are so atrocious right now that I have to keep covering them. And given that they are literally the same as the Tories, me attacking Labour is just attacking the Tories. And I'm sorry to say, but this video is no different. I'm simultaneously not shocked by how right-wing Labour has become and also incredibly shocked whenever they announce a new policy. But this latest one, I think completely, completely dispels the myth that we need to vote Labour to get rid of the Tories. Some may well say, well, Labour will be 10% better and that's better than nothing. I think that's a load of rubbish and you're not going to believe this. Rachel Reeves declares Labour won't cut multi-million pound bankers' bonuses. Labour is facing a backlash after saying it will not scrap former Tory Prime Minister Liz Truss's decision to lift the cap on bankers' bonuses. Defiant shadow Chancellor Rachel Reeves told the BBC that the party does not have any intention of bringing that back. Sir Keir Starmer's top ally said while the cap on the bonuses was the right thing to do to rebuild the public finances, that has now gone and we don't have any intention of bringing that back. As Chancellor of the Exchequer, I want to be a champion of a successful and thriving financial services industry in the UK. You have got to be fucking kidding me. Now, there's just so much to unpack there. I, I don't know where to start. But look, they are supposed to be the party of Labour, announcing that they want to keep a policy from the Tories where bankers who are universally hated, where they were the ones responsible for the 2008 financial crash, want to reward them. How out of touch can you possibly be? And that second quote from Reeves is absolutely disgusting, where she literally said, supporting the cap was the right thing to do in order to build the public finances, but we're just not going to do it anyway. You have made everything within your stupid fiscal rules. You said you wouldn't scrap the two-child benefit cap. That could lift hundreds of thousands of children out of poverty because the finances aren't there. We can't promise anything. They just recently announced they've dropped the £28 billion green investment policy, despite saying they wouldn't. We all knew they would um, because, well, we need to be within our fiscal rules. So ending poverty and helping save the planet can't be done because of the economy, but allowing bankers to make millions in bonuses, which you literally said the cap would help the finances, you're not going to do. You'd happily ignore the fiscal rules to make the rich richer, than to do any kind of good policies that benefit the many. How are you any different to even the most right-wing Tories? And I'd love Starm rights to defend this one. Well, actually, bankers' bonuses are good, actually, because if you are a Starm right and you think that's a good policy, well, some people inside Labour said it was a bad policy. And do you know who that is? Rachel Reeves. Today, in the midst of their cost of living crisis, the Conservatives are scrapping the cap on bankers' bonuses. It tells you everything you need to know about this government. And now you are supporting it. It tells us everything we need to know about your shitty Labour Party. Yesterday, I covered the Iceland boss and former Tory donor who's now switched to Labour. And now they're like, oh, we love bankers bonuses. You are the party of bankers, CEOs, corporations, just like the Tories. You have no moral standing in attacking the government when you won't do anything different. I wonder if Rachel Rees was living under a rock during 2008. I mean, she said that Labour would champion the success of the financial sector. It is the fact that the financial sector, which could do whatever they like with their speculative behaviour, caused the crash. We need to curb the financial sector. The country has become so reliant on it that it's just a big bubble waiting to burst. We've never rectified the issues after 2008. We just continued as we did before. Rachel Reeves genuinely doesn't know what she's talking about. And it's not good to have the financial sector act like a bloody casino. It needs to be boring and heavily regulated, not a place where people can look to get rich. It needs to be treated as any other job. But that's not the case. It's like Wolf of Wall Street, you know, maybe a bit less coke, but there's still money to be made at the expense of the rest of us. We already have a party that heavily supports the city bankers and the financial sector. We don't need another one. What we need desperately are people standing up to the banks, saying enough is enough, addressing the cost of living, increasing taxes on the wealthy, implementing a wealth tax. That's a Chad Labour Party, but we're left with a party that is pathetic, weak, and a bitch for capital. And I'm just so sick of what the Labour Party has become.
If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and drop a comment. It's good for the algorithm and I'm interested in what you have to say. If you're not already subscribed, please do and hit the notification bell. You can also support this channel by becoming a member for 99p per month. And if you're feeling a little more generous, then you can support us on Patreon for three or five pounds per month. This channel for a while has been uploading every single day and it's quite a lot of work that is still voluntary and scheduled around my paid work. Currently Turn Left makes around £20 a month, but I have so much ambition, expect in the future to see more variety in content such as interviews and vox pops. But I want this to be a fully fledged media organisation where not only is this my full time job, but to have multiple people working for Turn Left. I like to see a live show in the future, more content that delves into culture, history and much more, but that can only be done if there's money. So please, if you can, support us in any way that's in your capacity and thank you to existing members, subscribers and patrons. See you next time.